Okay, this is a uh, breast drill. It's a Miller Falls Company breast drill. They were um, a very big tool company, uh, started way back in 1868. They went out of business, I think, in 1982. Uh, this is called a breast drill. It's called a breast drill because, uh, unlike a hand drill, it has a breast plate, and you can put the breast plate like a machine gun against your, your chest, and you can uh, put your weight to it, and you can, uh, you can really apply some force that way. It's a two-speed um, breast drill because, in addition to the outer ring, it also has an inner ring here. It might be hard to see, but if you press one of these buttons here, you can pull it out, and you can see that it's got two rings, the outer and the inner. So if you want to go faster, you engage, you engage this pinion with the outer reel, and you can go pretty quick. If you want to go slower, more torque, you change the location, and now it's going slower and because it's engaging the, uh, the smaller pinion here. Here is one to one ratio, here it's like three to one ratio. And if for greater torque, you can adjust the length of your lever. This of course would give you more speed because you can, no sorry, not more speed, this would give you more torque because you have a, a longer lever. If you want more speed, you can push it all the way in, tighten this down, and uh, you, can, uh, you can spin quicker. It also has, what most hand drills don't have, is a level, and the level still works. The water's still in there. Um, and it's been in there since about 1925. Now, I, I know that because I did some research on this, and I found out that this is called a Model 12 breast drill. It says uh, number 12 right there. And the number 12, in this configuration, the paint color, the scheme, the logo, everything, uh, was manufactured uh, anywhere from 1925 to 1930. So not before that, not after that. So it's almost, well, it's probably about 90 years right now. The chuck works really nice. It's very smooth. Um, the size of the chuck probably, well, it's at least a half inch, maybe five eighths. So it will work. The chuck works best with auger bits that have a shaft that is not totally round. If you're using round bits, it's, it's hard to get it to, to spin totally true. Not that it really matters because it's spinning reasonably slowly anyway. So if you get a little bit of wobble due to the round bit, well, you know, that's, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna really matter. And I'm, I'm going to show you here uh, how easily it drills into this uh, one and a half inch thick piece of, of lumber. I mean, it just, it goes through it like, like nothing. And uh, condition-wise, it's in perfect condition. Everything's original, the handles are original, they still got the varnish on them. There's a little bit of, you know, rust and patina from, from 90 years, but it's in perfect shape. Oh, and, and one other side note, not that this uh, matters or increases its value in, in, in any way, but I bought a, um, a storage unit, you know, at those storage auctions, and uh, I found out that uh, uh, the contents belonged to an elderly gentleman whose um, son had put him into uh, an old age home and put his stuff in there and uh, it turns out based upon the mementos and all the stuff I found that he was um, not only a World War II veteran but he was a pilot of a B-17 bomber in the 8th Air Force and uh, I actually um, put in his name in Google and I tracked him down and the, and the man was still alive so I brought him back a lot of his um, a lot of his uh, personal mementos that his son had basically threw away because as you know how these storage auctions work, if you, uh, if you don't pay the rent, uh, they auction off uh, the contents of the storage unit. And uh, he didn't pay the rent on the unit that he put all of his father's junk in. So, uh, you know, that kind of uh, upset me. And uh, fortunately I was able to go back to him, find him and, uh, and give him some of his World War II mementos. Um, he, didn't really <laughs> he didn't really want the drill. <laughs> so, the drill uh, can be yours for $50. Thanks a lot.